And welcome in, everybody. I'm Jeff Levering, along with my partner, Lane Grendel. And up until about five minutes ago, we were much like you. We had no idea what we just watched. Did the sausages kidnap Bernie? Do the sausages have cell phones? Do they only send gifts of themselves? Does Bernie always eat that much food for breakfast? And is Bernie safe wherever he is? Well, good news on that front. Our sources tell us Bernie is safe and sound. Let's check in on him now. And more good news for Bernie, it appears they've moved him from the ballpark for a very special reason. And for more on that, let's go down to Nicole Sedeby. Thanks, Jeff. As the Brewers in-game host, I've developed a bit of a shorthand with the Brewers mascots. I learned Bernie was feeling a bit down last season without fans at the ballpark. So to help cheer him up, the mascots have partnered with American Family Insurance to renovate Bernie's chalet. In fact, I hear they're about to go over some of the designs of the new chalet in just a few moments. Wow, thanks, Nicole. What a great gesture by the sausages, you know, except for the whole kidnapping and everything. Yeah, don't they usually send them on nice vacations for these types of shows? Anyway, let's send it live into that design meeting. All right, guys, we've been tasked with picking the best design for Bernie Chalet. Everybody ready to see what the racing sausages have put together? Remind me why we let the sausages do the designs? The last time I was in a meeting with the sausages, they pitched me on being our entire starting rotation. The, the whole thing, one through five. Listen, guys, I'm sure they've got some great stuff. Let's see who's up first. Wow, that, that is quite the design. I will say though, it does feel a little bit selfish. Okay, maybe let's look at the next one. I think maybe he was just hungry. You know, I've always said this, never design a chalet when you're hungry. Yeah, I don't really know about this one. Is he suggesting we recreate the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Or that we can bring the real one to the ballpark? I'm not sure you can move an 800-year-old building. Who knew these guys had such solid graphic design skills, though? David, how do you feel about a slide that leads directly into the outfield? I'm going to go on a limb here and say that door is probably a violation. It's also missing a front door, which could be a problem. Okay, let's move on to our last one. Wow, is Chorizo an architect in his spare time? I don't know, but that looks like a pretty legitimate blueprint. It's very scientific. He's really specific about the angle of his sombrero. Well, that's all five. And I don't think we found a winner. Yeah, maybe time for them to head back to the drawing board. And hopefully not with crayon. <laughs> 